Taking a closer look at the impact the crisis in Japan is going to have on us here in Northeast Ohio. And there are so many things in Japan that are made in Japan, from cars to cameras, and they could soon be hard to come by. News Channel 5's Dan Haggerty looks into the impact on the auto industry. But Dan, we're not just talking about new cars, but the parts you might need to repair your car. Actually, for now, and you touched on it, we're talking about anything manufactured in Japan, especially in the north, where the damage is the worst and factories are closed. Closed, of course. I talked to some experts today and they said they're going to be watching the supply lines from there to Northeast Ohio. Images like this have a unique impact on Case Western professor Susan Helper. It's um, just uh, really devastating and shocking. I mean, seeing people in, um, you know, Shinjuku outside of Tokyo kind of thinking about their building swaying. You know, I was just in Shinjuku. Helper was in Japan just days before the quake hit, surveying auto plants and manufacturing for the U.S. Department of Labor. After the quake, virtually all Japanese car makers stopped production because of damage or rolling blackouts. Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Mazda, all the major names on Bedford's Auto Mile. And with Japanese roads now impassable, towns destroyed, and aid focused on survivors, shipments have been postponed indefinitely. To the extent that there are parts that are hard to replace that are coming from Japan, that's a problem. We may not see an immediate price increase or lack of product. Uh, for a couple of months, but I think we're drastically going to get hit by that. Randy Scherer sells tires at NTB. Many of them are made at Japanese plants. And price increases, uh, uh, which will probably equate to you know, our business actually suffering because we're not going to have as many people you know, putting the money into their cars. Car dealers in Bedford told me they haven't heard anything about shipments or parts, but plan to stock up with what's available now. A GM spokesperson told me in an email that there is no impact on production at this time, and they're assessing the impact with Japanese suppliers. And most shipments from Japan travel by water. They can take 30 to 40 days sometimes, so that gives manufacturers here a chance to gain some ground and catch up if the struggles in Japan can begin to improve. Reporting live tonight, I'm Dan Haggerty, News Channel 5.